Big up my guy, yay. Big up my guy, yay. Formerly known as Kanye West. Big up my goat. Big up my guy. Big up him. Because look at this fucking headline. Look at this headline. Look at this headline. Ye praised Hitler and spoke of going for the gays. Lawsuit claims. <laughs> He's a fucking psycho, man. He's a psycho. It's like, I love that he's getting madder as he gets older. I've long said, right? I've said before, I think I've got an advantage because I listen to so much music, because I've, you know, bit of a music fan. I love all the genres, right? Um, Because of all that shit, I've been exposed to a lot of like erratic, weirdo, freaky guys, lead singers, guitar players, drummers, whatever, hangers on clouty people, industry people, of all, of, in all genres, there's a version of them. But I think in hip-hop, there's not really a, there's not really space for like the oddities. It doesn't really exist, especially personality-wise, opinions on the world. People kind of freak out on it. But I've long said that I thought that Ye was the closest thing to like Morrissey that hip-hop has in terms of somebody who people hold up in high esteem for like his old music catalogue, in terms of Morrissey with the Smiths and stuff, some of the early Morrissey solo albums. But as the years progress, his own views and personality started to like get on people's nerves to the point that it, it tainted the artwork and people now can't look at it the same. And it's the same thing with Kanye or with Ye in that he's created such an amazing body of work, like stage shows out of this world, fashion, you know, setting trends, footwear, it's done what it's done. But because of his uh, personality, his opinions, he's become so hard to like get behind and rally behind because he says so many, you know, detestable things. He comes across as like, such a cunt, all these type of things people don't like. But I'm so used to it that I can put up with it. Like I can definitely separate the art from the artist. But I'm also a bit of a weirdo in that the more unpalatable you are, the more divisive, the more Marmite you are, the more I want to back you now because it's now hardest to be your fan because it's all well and good being Kanye's fan when he drops AOS and Heartbreak. You know, being a Kanye fan when Yeezus drops is even pretty easy. Um, and remember, Yeezus was just a Confederate flag, right? It wasn't even that crazy. We thought that was crazy, remember? We thought it was crazy when Ye was walking around with a bomber jacket with a Confederate flag. We thought, oh my God, he's lost it. Now look where we are. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if it's for me personally, I feel like I resonate more with people who decide to go left because I feel like there's way more risk involved. Like, Ye essentially, like, eviscerated his friendship group. Eviscerated it. Like, he took a flamethrower to his whole entire friendship group. For the moment, I feel like for the moment Virgil got the Louis Vuitton job, Ye suddenly, like, turned into, like, a... He turned into, like, I don't give a fuck about anybody type of thing. He eviscerated his whole friendship group. He doesn't hang around with none of those guys anymore. Don C, Matthew Williams, um, Heron Preston. All these, like, all these guys aren't around anymore. It's just him and his wife and, like, a whole other Yeezy team. But that whole team he was with before, that whole, like, old Dunder team doesn't even exist. So he clearly, purposely, like, started, doing all these, started saying all these things that weren't really, what you know, the right thing to say, um, political leans that people didn't agree with, and now he's kind of on his own island. But I enjoy that more because I like all the freaks. I like all the weirdos. So this thing is absolutely incredible. This entire new, this kind of new chapter in the fucking yay story is absolutely hilarious, right? So let's actually read this lawsuit details. Absolutely crazy. I love the picture as well. <laughs> he just knows he's going to cause havoc. That's a picture of somebody that knows he's going to fucking cause havoc. Let's scroll down to this fucking text here. Ye, the rapper formerly known as Kanye West, was sued on Tuesday by a former employee who accused him of discrimination and creating a hostile work environment by calling Adolf Hitler great, <laughs> disparaging Jews and saying that gay people are not true Christians. <laughs> the funny thing is, he probably has at least one German person working for him. He probably has at least one Jewish person working for him. And he probably has at least one gay person working for him. And he still says those things. That's the thing that makes it hilarious about Ye. Um, the lawsuit was filed in Los Angeles Superior Court by Trevor Phillips, who says that he was hired in November 2022, around the time a series uh, of anti-Semitic remarks publicly made by Ye lost the artist his major record label deal and put his business in jeopardy. Phillips was initially hired to oversee projects related to the growing cotton 
What? Related to growing cotton and other plants in an effort to make easy Ye's fashion brand self-sustainable. Growing cotton. So was Ye going to take over fucking denim tears shit? That's what, I'm surprised actually Tremaine hasn't done that. Like try and grow his own cotton fields or something, right? And produce like, and bring the whole thing full circle. Cotton reef? Yeah. Full circle thing. Maybe. I don't know. Let's continue. Circular production. Circular manufacturing. Who knows? Continue. Um, Films was initially hired to oversee the project related to growing cotton. Yes, fashion brand to make itself sustainable. The loss was said and then went on to work at Dondo Academy, Yes, private school in the Southern California. Philip's um, lawsuit claims that Ye um, made anti-Semitic comments in the front of staff members at Donda Academy, including the Jews are <laughs> the Jews are out to get me, and the Jews are stealing all my money. After Anus ended his decade-long partnership with Yeomi's public remarks and lawsuit claim, the rapper told Phillips the Jews are working with Adidas to freeze up my God, and to try and make me broke. That's the thing I love about Ye. The thing I love about Ye is that he's such a narcissist, he's such an egomaniac, that he has no concept of the stuff that he says to annoy people. All he sees is what you do to him. And again, I'm a fan of Ye. I love Ye. Everything about him, I stand with the guy. Fool. But he is such an egomaniacal, narcissistic dude that he does not see the things that he does to people that provoke them to do that to him. Because he thinks, he just thinks like, Adidas woke up one day and thought, we're going to end this partnership. Even though all the figures that came out of Adidas, right, that said Adidas basically, um, I think Yeezy accounted for like, again, I don't know the exact figure, but I remember hearing a figure around like 30%. Yeezy basically accounted for 30% of Adidas sales. Now think about that because that's crazy because Yeezy is only like, it's not even a 10-year brand. So for a brand that's like a sub-label, you know, subsidiary of like Adidas to be accounting for thirty percent of the sales. That means he was he was selling not, he was selling fucking skews in the millions, right? And most likely, people say the Adidas partnership is what actually made him a billionaire. That's actually what got him there because obviously Adidas manufacturing production they can really ramp up so they can produce like you know a million three fifties if they want to, right? In all black. Whereas maybe Ye on his own might be able to do those kind of numbers. And obviously, you know, the, the margins are quite way lower for them, blah, 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 blah. So he thinks Adidas woke up one day and like, you know what? We want to shoot ourselves in the foot. We want all our board members to lose money. We're going to end this deal with Kanye. Even though Ye was the most important or the most, you know, influential, visible, important thing to happen to Adidas in maybe the last two decades or something. They didn't do it because they just felt like it. They did it because Ye did some fuck shit along the way too. He annoyed people. He got into spats. He had arguments. He had falling out. So people, and you know, one thing we know about corporate, the corporate world, corporate America, or corporate, the corporate world in general, you have to play the game. That's why we kind of all rate, myself included. That's why I rate Virgil so much. Virgil was able to like get his ideas across while also playing the corporate game. He, I don't ever feel like Virgil, um, I never feel like Virgil had to like sanitize what he was doing. I feel like he did it and there were maybe some quote unquote compromises or some meeting in the middles, but I don't think he had to like completely sanitize or like dumb down what he was doing. He always kind of got across his overall message. But I feel like with Ye, he's just on some like, if you don't give me exactly what I want, like fuck you. And obviously that's not the way to go about doing things, right? You have to kind of have a little bit of a two bro. But he doesn't like that. He doesn't like being spoken in a certain way. He doesn't like being treated in a certain way. Like everything has to be exactly right for him. If you don't do it right for him, he throws his toys out of the pram. And I think, yay, unfortunately, I think personally, like day to day in person, he must be a really hard person to kind of work with. As much as I'm a frat fan of his and I love him, to, w to work with him day to day... It must be a bit of a stretch. It must be hard, bro. It must be difficult to make that shit work. So I'm not surprised that the partnership kind of ended. And if anything, the Ida's partnership ending was a good indication of just how important it is to keep relations good. Because if I remember correctly, one of the Ida's board members was the wife, was the, yeah, was the wife of somebody who, no, the Ida's board member also was on a board of JP Morgan or something like that. Something crazy. Or somewhere where Ye had done his banking. I forgot where it was. And essentially, because he fell out with the board and he did all that fuck shit with Adidas and he got into a spat and they did fuck shit to him, 
they they're alleging the conspiracy theory is that that lady or them people had some way had had a role to play in his accounts being frozen because I think the the money he had from Ada again it's really weird how it happened but Ada's paid him some sort of money for the Yeezys for the Yeezy sorry and somehow Ada's were able to like reverse the money and I think maybe because it's it's like high amounts of money but they were able to like put a hold on that money so they deposited the money to him but able to try to take it out of the account put it freeze it so he couldn't get hold of it very strange close his account it's fucking odd but regardless I love how Ye acts as if like things just happen in the silo things just happen without any any like there's no provocation there's no fucking poking no nothing I'm just sitting there minding my business and then they send me a termination letter it's like come on Ye come on Anyway, let's continue. The lawsuit claims that Ye treated black employees at Donda, including Phillips, considerably worse than white employees. You know what? That's actually a good thing. That's actually a good thing. One of the best things my parents ever told me growing up was the importance of just how much better, just how much the importance of knowing that you have to try way harder than your you know, non-black compatriot to get anywhere in life. And that you should never ask for handouts, never be a victim, but you have to try harder. Like you can't expect to put in the same effort as your compatriot who isn't black and think you're going to get the same results. You have to try two times, three times, five times, ten times as harder. And sometimes even then you don't get the results that you want, but you have to start from there. And I think that's a good way to approach life because unfortunately, if you do give your kids the idea like, oh yeah, the world is all sunshine and rainbows, opportunities are the same for everybody, we all get the same chances, we all have the same 24 hours, like, we all have the same 24 hours, but some of us have to work, you know, 18 out of those hours and some of us have to work six. So that's the basic, you know, premise of it all. So that's actually not a bad thing, I don't think. Another one says, representative for Ye and Donda Academy did not immediately respond to the comment. Late last year, as he preparing for English music, Ye put out a statement written in Hebrew. <laughs> we should have knew he was on some fuck shit when you put an apology out in Hebrew. We should have knew Ye wasn't serious. Apology out in Hebrew, you know, that's fucking so insulting. Um, he put an apology <laughs> written in Hebrew, which he apologized for the Jewish community for his remarks, writing, I deeply regret any pain that may have caused. Obviously, he didn't write that, by the way. He definitely doesn't stand by that. He just did that to create peace and most likely just to keep people's jobs up. Because that's, that's the thing I didn't like about Ye when he did the whole, like, burning the boats at fucking Adidas. If I'm not mistaken, just before he had the falling out at Adidas, they opened up a small factory somewhere... I'm going to say Italy or France, where they were meant to do way more, like they were meant to kind of increase the amount of production for Yeezys because of the demand for the previous year was really high, but they couldn't meet it. So they opened up this one specific factory that was meant to kind of, you know, add more to the fucking quantities and shit. And because Ye fell out with the thing, that factory closed down and now people are out of a job. So his, you know, his tantrums and shit cost people jobs. So maybe now he suddenly started to realize, okay, cool, I need to kind of chill out a bit and kind of rein it in. That's probably why he apologized. I'd imagine. Because he doesn't, he didn't mean that. He probably didn't write it as well. It continues. Uh, I did regret giving can cancelled. The newest album, a collaboration with R&B singer um, Tidal Sign Vulture has been streaming as number one. Most of the remarks that Torpedo Ye's... Um, oops, well, let's go back here again. Let's fucking move the thing. Da -da -da -da. Let's continue here. Most of the remarks... Most of the remarks... Um, that Torpedo's Ye's corporate deals were made in public, including on social media and on podcasts. In the lawsuit, Phillips describes comments Ye he claims Ye made in private. The lawsuit says that during... <laughs> Honestly, this guy's a psycho. Listen to this thing. <laughs> what do you say in private? The lawsuit says that during a conversation at the Nobu Hotel, that's definitely a place to talk about Hitler, isn't it? At the Nobu Hotel in Malibu, California, Ye said the Holocaust was fake. <laughs> He's so dumb. That's the thing about Ye. He's such a genius artistically and creatively, but he's so fucking dumb. Like, he's actually R-worded in the real sense of the word. Like, he takes a lot of pride in saying that, oh, I don't read books. Books are for dumbs. Like, books is like, it's too much information. It clouds your, like, natural proclivity to be creative. It's like, bruh, no. Yay, pick up a book, please. You actually need to pick up a book. Of all people, you actually need a book to inform you of certain things. But yay thinks books are, like, mind control. Like, it's just an opinion. That's like, bro, like, he, he prefers to go with feelings and stuff, like, instincts. It's like, come on, Giza, man. Your instinct is that the Holocaust was fake. That's your instinct, right? That's your, like, that's your, like, uh... <laughs> That's your sixth sense. The Holocaust was, was fake. Anyway, um, 
He called Hitler great, adding Hitler was an innovator. He invented so many things. He's the reason we have cars. <laughs> Yo, yay, yay thinks, yay thinks Hitler created Volkswagen, isn't it, or something? He's so fucking dumb. <laughs> I love him so much. In the same meeting, the lawsuit accuses Ye of making homophobic and anti-Semitic remarks, saying, yeah, I'm going for the gays. First the Jews, then the gays. Oh, that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. Because the, the, the Jews already cancelled him anyway. Right? The Jews did a good job in terms of like literally nearly wiping away his bit, wiping away his billionaire states, which he kind of was very proud of. Now you don't really hear, hear yeah, he talk about his money anymore because he's not, you know, I think money was just like a, it's like a game to him. And because he got, he got that billion, I think the billion was also like a, the worst thing to happen to Ye if, if you're like a Ye hater. Because what that billion did, that billionaire status did, is that it justified all his methods. Because it proved to him that no matter how much of an arsehole he is, no matter how combative he is, no matter how obtuse he is, no matter how narcissist he is, he still was able to garner that amount of money because, by and large, people still love him. Despite his, you know, personality defects and flaws and shit. So that billionaire status actually was the worst thing to ever happen to Ye because it really emboldened him to feel like yeah no one can fucking touch me um so you know he's probably right in that respect because he's still got number one album after saying he loved Hitler and Hitler did some interesting things like you know you can't really you can't really debate him on that regard like the fact that he's been able to still bounce back and especially doing it you have to think he didn't do it with like you know, Adele, he didn't do the collaborative album with like fucking Billie Eilish. He didn't do the collaborative album with Sexy Red. He didn't do the collaborative album with like Olivia Rodrigo, with fucking Bad Bunny. You know, he didn't do it with all these like, hot, b big people in the market now. He did the collaborative album with Ty Dolla Sign, somebody who people kind of like, you know, he's obviously great and somebody I rate a lot in the R&B space, but I think outside of that, people don't really probably look for that much. And, you know, one of the hit singles on the album features Rich the Kid, who people don't really care about at all. And he's got one of the best verses on the whole entire album. So he basically proved that he is that guy, unfortunately. You know, if you don't like him, he basically proved, I am that guy. I can say I love Hitler. I can say the Holocaust is fake. I can say all this wild shit and still get number one album. It's kind of wild. It continues. The lawsuit contains a screenshot of a text message. Um, it claims, yay, sent to Phillips. Um, taking issue with how he carried out a task. The comment says, I am on some complete Hitler level stuff, minus the gas chambers. <laughs> so he's okay with Hitler ideas, but he completely dismisses the gas chamber, but then doesn't really want to look at it too much. No, 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 gas chambers, you know, everyone's got their, you know, everyone's got their fucking, no one's perfect, right? <laughs> oh, he's got, he's got that thing about, oh, I'm a Christian, I forgive everybody. God would for, God would have forgave Hitler. Okay. It continues. The lawsuit took issue with Ye's conduct at Donder Academy, the school he founded. It claims that Ye told two children enrolled there that he wanted them to shave their heads and that he intended to put a jail at the school that they could be locked in cages. To be fair, I'm not, the, the shave our head thing, I'm not that surprised because if I'm not mistaken, Ye does, Ye does have this thing about everybody around him has to wear black. When he's, I don't know when he's doing work or when he's just hanging out. Whenever they're like together, if you look closely at the pictures, whenever Ye is moving around, he's with his team, they're always all wearing all black. They never wear any other colors. And Ty Dolla Sign is known to be, in, you know, like a color dude. Da, da, da. So I think he does enforce that whole wearing black thing to his team. You have to wear a certain, you know, color scheme. I think that's the rules. So it wouldn't be, you know, that far fetched that he'd say, "Hey, shave your heads, uniformity." You know what I mean, like uniformity kind of across the board and yeah at the moment has a shaved head he's growing his beard i wouldn't be surprised right that kind of monk minimalism type of affair focusing on the work shipping back your personal expression and focusing on the work maybe there's a there's a there's something to be said for that the staff quickly distracted the children the lawsuit says and escorted them out of the room <laughs> In 2022 television interview, Ye said that Donda Academy had more than 80 students and that its mission was to be a performing arts school, to be a design school, an architecture school, a farming school, an automotive engineering school, a computer hardware, and a software school. This is like this is like one of those things that kids say. I want to be a spaceman. I want to be, sorry, I want to be, <laughs> I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a firefighter, a police officer. I want to you make cake. Is that, it's like, oh, it's, I fucking love it, man. Imagine going, imagine legitimately putting your kid in a Kanye controlled school when he doesn't even, you know, respect 
education like that. You know what I mean? He refuses to read. He's always chastising the school that his kids go to. Is that, I forgot what it's called. Sierra Canyon, Sierra Nevada, whatever that fucking school is called. He fucking hates that. So he's clearly got an issue with the education system, yet he's creating a school. You're like, okay. The suit said that Philip's daughter and younger brother attended the school and that Philip's mother had helped him get a job there. Your mum helped you get a job then? You're making a lawsuit. Bro, have some shame. Your mum helped you get a job to work with Ye and now here you are crying that Ye is being Ye. Fuck off. The current status of Donda Academy has been named in other lawsuits brought by former employees is unclear. So Ye is out here calling people allegedly fat as well. I saw a quote some, somewhere there. He was calling people fat. Where is it? I think it might be here actually. Uh, verbal abuse, calling Hitler, LGBTQ are next. Yeah, that's the one. Telling members of staff they could be fired for being fat. That I don't, that I'm okay with. I think there are certain brands, I think to be fair, people really don't really know why I'm going to fashion, but there are certain brands, certain like high street brands, certain like luxury brands, or certain like brands, you know, in department stores where they don't let you work there if you don't look a certain way. I know of certain brands in Selfridges, Harvey Nichols, where if you don't look a certain way, they're not going to hire you. If you're not hot, if you're not in shape, like Saint Laurent, you can't go work at Saint Laurent if you've got a 42 waist. It's not happening. You know what I mean? It's not fucking happening. You want to work at Saint Laurent? You want to wear those fucking cowboy boots? You want to wear skinny jeans and a little blaze and a skinny tie? You got to be like 36, maybe even 34 waist under. Anything, anything above a 40, you're out. You know what I mean? Like, so, like you're out, just out. You got wins of redemption, you're fucking out. So this idea that there isn't this like thing. It's, it's dumb. Like, do you think walking into a Vogue office looking like Bella Hadid isn't going to help you? It's going to help you. Now, is it good thing? Obviously not. But let's not lie and say that that's not going to help. So the fact that Ye's like, hey, no fatties, I don't blame the guy, you know? It's a bit, you know, contradictory coming from him because Ye is not exactly in the best shape of his life himself. So for Ye to be calling other people fat and not hiring them, it's a bit hard to take that one, isn't it? But it's his company. He can do what the fuck he wants. So I kind of understand it. But in general, um, Ye doing Ye things. Again, I think this kid got his job by from his mum. If you know Ye and you're 20, I think he's at, the kid's at 22 allegedly or somewhere around that kind of lines. You should know what that guy's about. You should know what you're getting yourself into. Crying and complaining about it is a bit lame, to be completely honest. And if anything, you know, it's not going to really change anything either. This behavior he's had, he's had it for fucking years. Um, he's he's been rewarded for it in the most greatest way possible by becoming a fucking billionaire. There's no way he's changing anytime soon. It's not fucking happening. So all this whole hullabaloo, colorbaloo, it's over nothing. It's all going to fucking die away and everyone's going to fucking move on. But big up, yay. Absolute freak. Absolute fucking freak. But I absolute love him. I absolutely love everything about that man. 